is a new series that we're going to do for National Nutrition Month. The theme this year is Personalize Your Plate. So we're going to do that by taking an international journey with dishes from around the world. So it's going to be a lot of fun trying different cuisines. And uh, to start off, we're going to start with a very easy and light um, meal. I guess you'd say it can also serve as an appetizer. It's gonna be miso soup. So this is a Japanese dish. We are going to use um, some faster, faster ingredients here, um, just so it's not something that you're gonna be afraid of trying, um, because sometimes that's, that can be something that we worry about uh, if it's an unfamiliar food, um, as some international cuisines can be, um, then cooking them at home can be intimidating. So we're going to use an instant dashi miso mix. Um, there's a recipe that I'm also gonna share that has the dashi separate, and it's gonna be an instant granule um, soup mix, and then the miso paste. This one is a combo. So we're gonna just go ahead and get everything in one, one step. Um, with that being said, the other ingredient that we're going to use that is also uh, popular in Japanese cuisine is a silken tofu. So the other tofu that you see in the store um, that is in a different kind of packaging, it's the actually the Chinese tofu, which is pressed tofu, whereas this one is soy milk that's actually coagulated. Um, so it's a little bit different. The texture is smooth and creamy. This one is going to be very delicate. And whereas the other one, you can you can really use it as a, more of a meat substitute. Um, so we're gonna have some fun trying to get this stuff cut up into little cubes. And then we're just gonna keep it real simple and go with some, some green onion. So. Um, we'll just go ahead and jump right in. I have water on the stove and it's already boiling. It's going to be four cups of water. I'm going to follow the directions that are actually on this container um, since I'm not going to use the instant dashi and the, um, the miso paste. So with that being said, there's four cups of water boiling on the, the stove top. And then we're gonna use four tablespoons or a quarter cup of our miso dashi paste mix. So, first of all, let's start by opening up our tofu and getting this cubed up. You want to have a nice sharp knife and it is liquidy so beware. You could also use scissors. And this packaging has directions. Whoop. So now that we've cut those corners off, cool thing too because since it's in this tetra pack it's actually shelf stable so you won't have to um, refrigerate it until you actually take it out of its container Perfect. If you break the section from cutting the two ends, it'll come out just like that. So it is soft. You can see some little bits flake off. But we'll go ahead and just give this just some nice cubing.
Now I'm going to continue cubing up the tofu and putting it in a bowl so we can add it to our hot water and miso dashi broth. Next we'll cut up our green onion or our scallions and they do in encourage you to cut them diagonally just because it's a little prettier. Now that we have all of that cut up, I'm going to move on to the broth. Now I have my boiling water right off of the stove top. I'm going to get into my dashi miso mix here. Now with miso, it comes in different color um, options, I guess you would say. They're, they're basically different strengths. If you want something that's more of a potent flavor, uh, then you would want to go with a red. If you like a lighter flavor, then a white or yellow miso is going to be your preference. This one looks like it's more of a yellow. Kind of an in-between. Now, miso and dashi are both very salty. So that is one thing that you want to look at when you're selecting a product. So this, this particular one, the nutrition fact says for one teaspoon is about 12% of your daily sodium intake. So therefore we're doing four cups of water. It calls for four tablespoons or a quarter cup of our paste here. So that's about 144% Okay, so a quarter of a cup of our miso dashi paste mix. Remember this water is very hot, so be careful when you're adding it in so that you don't splash yourself like that. <laughs> Sometimes things like that just happen. Okay. We're just going to mix this up until it is dissolved into the water. Now one other thing about the, um, the dashi miso mix, and you'll see this, this is very common in Asian cooking and ingredients, is monosodium glutamate. Monosodium glutamate is, it has sodium obviously, it's sodium in the name. It is a, a way to really get that umami flavor. Um, it's a flavor enhancer. So it's gotten, some, it's gotten a bad, bad rap in the past, but it's, it's just that we wanna monitor how much sodium we're taking in. Um, there's no real concerns in consuming it. If you're, if you're consuming it, you know, like I said, with our salt level, we wanna watch it. Um, so if we're watching our salt, MSG is going to be included in that content anyway. So just monitoring and keeping within the sodium recommendations for the daily limits, you should be perfectly fine if MSG is part of that. This tofu is pretty delicate. You may want to add it in kind of away from you in case it does splash you like that. It always happens. That's it. That's all that's in this quick and easy miso soup. Um, so you can try another food really conveniently. This would make a, um, like I said, a great appetizer. Just watching the sodium content uh, would, be, would be the main concern. But I bet with a cup of this, you would, you'll be pretty full anyway with all the tofu and then plenty of good oniony flavor if you're an onion lover like me. All right, well, enjoy your miso soup, and I'll see you on our next culinary adventure.